Well, starting in the kitchen this morning, folks. Welcome along to the vlog. I'm slightly uh, disengaged while I fasten up my camera bag, which is pointless because I've got to put my camera in it. Anyway, let's start again. Welcome along to the vlog. Uh, we're starting here in the kitchen this morning because um, I'm just waiting for Gemma to drop the kids off at school. Then we're going to go in to work and tackle that cellar drain once and for all. I'm not looking forward to it. It's going to be a horrible job, but I want to get it fully excavated. You never know, we might find a hoard of gold coin down there or something daft. But once it's done, then that will resolve that problem completely and I'll have peace of mind that we're not going to have any issues in the future with drainage. And I want to keep a close eye on all of the drains around uh, the, the pub and the brewery to make sure that uh, we don't have any problems in the future and then once that's done I think we may move on to may move on to one or two more projects in the garden maybe the jetty for the canal we shall see we shall see uh, but today's project is project drain excavation does that make sense I think so let's go in and do it right let's have a look what we've purchased then with this uh, submersible water pump Submersible water pump with float. General irrig irrigation, drain inspection pits, trenches, footings where solids may be present. And, oh yeah. Well, one good thing about it, I can see already, it's got a good cable, a good length anyway. We care about length on this channel, folks. Instructions, tons of cable, perfect for what we need to get down in the ditch without trailing through, uh, through the water. Hello bud. So what I'm going to do straight away is tangle this cable up. That's what cables are designed for. Oh, quickly de-strangulate all of this. Oh yeah, look at this. It's 10 metres. It says 10 metres on the box. I'm not pedant enough to check it. It's long enough for me, even if it's nine and a half. And then uh, here we have the outlet. So, let's get this screwed on to here. Like quit. Oh yeah, baby. And then we've got the lay flat tube in. So I should just be able to trail this out of the cellar, poke one dangly end down the drain, and launch the rest of it. Oh come on. Into the pit of shit. Oh yeah. Come on, lad. And let's use a knife. There we are. But I'm keen to see just how it fits over here. Said that's 32 mil outlet, and this said it's 32 mil pipe. So let's have a look if it's going to play ball. Oh, it does. Well, ain't that just sweet? I will pop a Jubilee clip around that though, so it doesn't come off. And then we're going to go next door and pop the lid on that drain. Get the damn thing empty. Right, we're in. It's noisy because of the cellar cooler. I'm going to throw this right down into the bowels of the hole, if you like. Plug it in and let's see if we can get some of this crap pumped out. I'm curious as to how how well it's gonna perform if I'm honest. Well it's worked a bloody treat. Look at that. The water level now is right down. Can you see anything in there? 
not a lot but yes the water level has reduced massively so we can get a torch in there there it is look sat right down at the bottom well I really don't know what to say I'm beat by all of this I'll show you one last time what we've got and explain the situation right so I'm kind of in the hole I've been for a number of years as it happens and this is kind of what we've got so it goes down a real steep incline there uh, to that bit at the bottom and I can't see any sign of a drain so I've excavated as far as I want to I've taken buckets and buckets and buckets of rubble out and I've had enough so we're going to pop that on clean the hole up get it all ready we'll pop that on we'll seal it up for good and it should not oh my goodness it should not be a problem for us anymore but we're going to have to find another way of venting the small amount of condensation that we have from the AC unit a lot of pubs just have a bucket and run it into a bucket I think that'll probably do us and if that fills up again I can always drop the sump pump back in there and uh, just drain it all out shouldn't be a problem really And when the work is done, <laughs> just get this balance. Brilliant. That is put to bed. Job done. Check it out, look. Hey, how neat's that? No more smells. No more nasty aromas. We can still drain using this little section here. And if it starts smelling, we can bung it up. And all fail if it starts filling up with water again we just lift the lid and pump it out we can simply just use the uh, the sump pump and pump it all empty so shouldn't be a problem now and I can't see us that's the first time we've done that and uh, I can't see us needing to do it very often if we don't put any liquids down there so I'm going to get out of the cellar now and we're going to go into the beer garden and we're going to have a look see if we can't do something with the canal so I'd like to put some type of uh, scaffolding board jetty out there so in order to do that I need some scaffolding poles well we actually have uh, something similar uh, the quick clamp stuff that we used to make a um, a stillage in the old brew shed, the small brew shed next door. That's still there. So what I'm going to do is go in, take it apart, and bring it down here. It is the plan. Hey, we're in the old brew shed. This brings back a few mem memories. Look, pub of the season, spring. So we've still got like quite a lot of stuff in here that uh, really needs to be removed table look at that scroll saw we've also got a coat hook up here that still needs moving all this shelving on the back here and of course a couple of under counter chillers they also need relocating at some point as well as these sinks so these sinks actually belong to us there's one there and there's one in here so uh, we're also going to have to rip all this tackle off the walls all this king span because it's now surplus to requirements wow look at this we've still got all the couplers in here I didn't know about that so we're worrying about couplers and nobody's taking these off regulators a little bit of 
old cider. Oh, we'll chuck that in that box. That can go. I mean, this is something that could have been done weeks and weeks ago, but we just never got round to it for some reason. And now we've got a sticky foot off the back of that. Oh, listen. So anyway, I'm going to come in here and uh, this is what I'm after. I'm going to disassemble this scaffold. Quick clamp actually, quick clamp stuff. And we're going to take it down to the beer garden. And we're going to see if we can't make some type of uh, nice little deck out of it for us to get down to the side of the canal. I've spent a considerable amount of time working out here on the mooring or the jetty, whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, well, we've made some progress, you know. It's uh, kind of looking somewhat like. So what I've done is uh, taken these large feet from the quick clamp uh, stuff. Get this light out of the way, there we go. So that kind of stuff. And I've put them on the bottom of the scaffolding poles and then we've pushed them down to the base of the canal and put boards on top. This is what we've ended up with. Although I'm not 100% sure, well it's not in the right place and it's got a bit, it's a bit cattywampus to one side so we need to pull it up, square it up, reset the heights on everything but it's slow going because I'm having to continue to reset things. So that's as far as we've got so far. I mean it looks like a pretty good jetty cup quite frankly. But you can kind of see if I look down that way, it's on the it's on the pistol. It's carry wampus out to the uh, to the left to the right hand side as we look at it. And also that centre pole is about six inches too far out into the canal. So I've got to find a way to bring that back and get it all in line. So I've rigged up this little system here going through the fence to prevent it slipping off and tipping into the canal and I've got some feet on the base of these back poles here so I can adjust the height on the back of the boards as well but I'm going to have to figure something out to sort of nail into the ground or cement into the ground like some pads or something to stop me tipping in might even be able to put some poles around the tree that might, uh, that might be a good idea but I've run out of pole, so uh, I'm going to have to order some of this quick clamp stuff as well as some more scaffolding boards. So we've just about finished everything now. Uh, it's getting dark so I'm going to want to pack up in a moment. But I'll show you what we've got in terms of a jetty. I do however have to tighten up a few of the allen keys and buy some more uh, scaffolding but we've got enough for now I think so what I've decided to do is tie it in if you look down here tie it in on the back of the tree so we've gone round the tree with the uh, scaffolding pole there and anchor the whole platform onto the tree so there's no way you can see I've just cut it notched it in there there's no way that that's going to go anywhere at all without kind of taking the tree with it I think so uh, I'm pretty confident that that's going to make a good start to a jetty anyway so we'll come back to this in a week or two when we've got some more uh, scaffolding boards and whatnot. well it's got a little bit dark outside now so unfortunately we're not going to be able to show you much of anything of the jetty but it's pretty much as uh, as I showed you 10 minutes ago or just then on the vlog actually so it's now gone six o'clock as you can probably tell with the, uh, the sun going down and uh, I've got a really banging headache from the hard graft over the past two days so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna have a pint of beer and I'm gonna edit the vlog for your pleasure and we'll pick it up again Friggin' tomorrow. We'll see you then, boys.